Producers, this is for you. What's up everybody, Chris Puncelon here, back with another video. And before we get started, I'd just like to shout out Kyle Richardson for asking this question. Um, he is the reason for me making this video, so shout out to Kyle. Everybody give Kyle a round of applause. So in Ableton, at the top right hand corner, there is a bar for your CPU usage. This shows how much your CPU is being used by all of the plugins and VSTs that you're using. Um, certain VSTs and plugins take up a lot of CPU. So you might notice that um, your CPU usage might be going up after using certain plugins or certain VSTs. Um, and once that number is really high, you might start to hear your computer breathe a little bit. Your computer may start to slow down or your program might even crash. And to prevent this, you have to start converting all of your MIDI files into WAV files and turning off your VSTs. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this in Ableton, but I know some of you don't use Ableton. Um, so I've linked in the description different tutorials on how to do it within different DAWs. So just check the links in the description if you wanna see how to do it within your DAW. To bring that CPU usage down, we're gonna right click the MIDI track, press freeze track, then copy and paste it into an audio track. And if you don't have an available audio track, just right click on the right hand side and click insert audio track. Now you can also press freeze track and then flatten, but if you do it this way, you'll lose the MIDI file and you won't be able to go back later and change some notes if you need to. Now if you added any effects to the MIDI track, you're just gonna drag them into the new audio track that you created, then go back to where the VST is, press the actual VST, press zero to turn it off, or you can press the yellow button in the top left hand corner. Again, you can accomplish this within any program, um, but the process is just gonna be a little bit different, so check the links in the description um, if you wanna see how to do this within your specific DAW. Then what I like to do is drag the MIDI track all the way to the bottom, color it red, and then add MIDI to the end of the name. That way, if I wanna go back and change some notes, I can find the track easily and um, change it. That's gonna conclude this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to Gio, Mega, Alex, Terrence, Sun, Sean, Perfecto, Joseph, Orizi, and Union for these comments. Also, shout out to It's John Obich, Miguel, Mr. Truth City, Shan, and Young Jay Noir for leaving Instagram comments. Something new that I'm trying is um, showing more love to people that show love on Instagram since I've been getting so much feedback followers and comments on my Instagram lately. So if you'd like to get a shout out, um, just leave a comment down below with what you'd like to see next or leave a comment on my most recent Instagram post. Um, Instagram is at Chris Puncelon. I'll be shouting out 10 people from YouTube and five people from Instagram. So go and follow me on there. Thank you all for the support. 10K subscribers is coming up really quick and I appreciate all of you for joining me on this journey. If you have any feedback or if you have any requests for a certain type of video that I should do, please leave it down in the comments below. As you can see, I do reply to every single comment unless it's spam. Thank you all for paying attention. Please pay your producers and I'll see all of you in the next video. Testing, testing, all my neighbors are staring at me right now.